Let's move on to Social Security. According to the Social Security Administration, Social Security will be unable to pay full benefits in a decade if no action is taken. Governor DeSantis, you have said that you're not going to, quote, mess with Social Security, unquote. Does that mean you have committed to never raising the retirement age and never cutting benefits? So all seniors out there, promise has been made to you. You've paid into this. Every single paycheck that you've had your entire life, they've taken money out of. Uh, and that promise needs to be fulfilled. So that will happen when I'm president. Of course, I have a lot of seniors in Florida that, that depend on Social Security. I know many of them. Uh, and I think back to my own grandmother who was, uh, lived till 91. Social Security was her sole source of income. So promise made, promise kept. You know, on the retirement age, you know, it used to be people would say, well, uh, life expectancy is going up. Shouldn't it mirror that? Well, the problem now in the last five years is life expectancy is going down. So I don't see how you can raise the retirement age when our life expectancy is collapsing in this country. That's a huge problem in and of itself. Uh, I'll work with both sides of the aisle. Uh, we'll work on something for the long term strengthening, but I am not going to mess with seniors' benefits. In this high inflation environment, groceries are going through the roof, rent is going through the roof, all these staples, and you get a cost of living adjustment, but that's not enough to cover the costs that have been increased. So seniors are really strapped, particularly those that are on fixed income, uh, and they have to know uh, that we're going to deliver when it comes to their Social Security check. Now, we're going to get inflation down. We're going to get energy costs down. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to help seniors, uh, but I think seniors should know promise made will be a promise kept. So just a point of clarification, 15 seconds. Removing current seniors from the equation you're not saying that you're committing to never raising the retirement age or cutting benefits. I would never raise the retirement age in, in, in the face of, of declining life expectancy. I mean, I think that that would be really bad. I mean, just think about it. That, that hurts blue collar folks. You get taxed your entire life, life expectancy's down. You may not even be recouping very many benefits. And so uh, life you, expectancy is declining. Thank you, Governor. That's a big Governor problem. Governor Haley. Three years in a row. He voted to raise life expectancy to 70 years old. Three years in a row. Go to DeSantisLies.com and you'll see it. So now suddenly he's going to tell you because he's running for president, he's not going to do it. You can't trust him. What I'll tell you is Social Security is going to go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare is going to go bankrupt in eight. He talks about taking care of seniors right now. It's Florida it has, is the inflation hotspot. It's the highest cost of living of any state in the country. Seniors are having That's to leave true. because they can't afford it. It's documented in DeSantisLies.com. What I'll tell you we have to do is we have to keep our promises to seniors, but we also can't put our head in the sand. For those like Ron saying they're not going to touch Social Security, that means they're going to leave after four or eight years and leave it bankrupt? No. What we do is we go to those in their 20s and say we're going to change the retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Instead of cost of living increases, we do increases based on inflation. We limit benefits on the wealthy. Thank you, and we expand Medicare Advantage plans, which seniors love. Thank you, That's Governor. how we'll deal with so, making Governor. sure they have it. Reducing the benefits when you do the change in calculation reducing the benefits so let's just put this in perspective uh, under her administration you would have seniors getting a less cost of living adjustments while your tax dollars are going to pay the pensions of ukrainian bureaucrats That's not true. you talk about putting americans lie, last man. that is wrong you've supported all that money going over there so let's put You're our so own desperate. people first we You're have to put so governor, first. governor haley let and she speak. also said she said recently that the the age of social security is way too low and I, I criticized that, and then she was called on it, and then she said she never said it, of course, you're lying, and then sure enough, you put on the interview where she's there, spit an image, and she says it's way too low. So, you know, we can play this song and dance. She has a record, she makes statements, and I think part of the problem with her, her candidacy is now that she's getting scrutiny, uh, she's got this problem with ballistic podiatry, uh, shooting herself in the foot every other day, <laughs> saying things that now she doesn't even take questions from people. Thank you, Governor DeSantis. Governor Haley, you want to raise the retirement age for younger Americans, but you have not said what that age should be. Should voters in their 20s plan on working until they're 70? First of all, he hasn't answered the fact that he voted to raise the retirement age to 73 different times. He can call me whatever name and be demeaning as much as he wants. It doesn't change the fact that Ron's lying because Ron's losing. Everybody in the country sees it for what it is. So what I'll tell you is, yes, we're going to take on, we're going to be responsible with it, and we're going to go to those in our 20s. When I said the retirement age was too low, again, where he's lying, it's because if 
you go, and you can go to DeSantisLies.com, I said it's too low if we're going to look at those in their 20s. We have to go and start looking at what we can do to get out of this. We want to make sure that everybody who was promised gets it. But we also want to make sure our kids have something when they get it too. So the way we do that is exactly how I laid it out. Then we'll know what we're looking at, and then we can start focusing. The other thing is we need to start cutting spending in D.C. We have to go back to pre-COVID levels. That's why I'll veto any spending bill that doesn't take us back to pre-COVID levels. That will save us trillions. We've got to go into every agency, replace the, every, the head of every agency, and send people into every agency. I did that as governor. Pull down old regs, pull down old programs, get rid of any problem children, and clean those agencies out and get them mission focused. There is a lot of waste in D.C. You need an accountant to go in there and clean it up, but we're not going to take away from anyone else, and he's yet to answer the fact that he voted three times to raise the retirement so Just a clarification, uh, Governor Haley, uh, in 15 seconds, should voters in their 20s plan on having to work until they're 70? They should plan on their retirement age being increased, yes. We're going to change it to reflect more of what uh, life expectancy should be. Well, one of the things that I think we disagree on, too, is uh, Governor Haley has said Social Security is an entitlement but you know, it's not an entitlement. You're paying into it. It's not a welfare program. You're being taxed for this your whole life. And so to expect to have benefits on the back end, you know, I don't think that that's too much. The other thing I'd point out is um, Social Security for decades ran massive surpluses. What happened to those surpluses? The Congress spent the surpluses. Yes, when you they have a the big debt. problem with that. So number one, we need term limits for members of Congress. Number two, we need a balanced budget amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Number three, we need to give the president a line item veto. And number four, when you see all these congressmen making a killing in the stock market, like Nancy Pelosi, she could run a very lucrative hedge fund. We need a 28th amendment to the Constitution that says very simply, Congress shall make no law respecting the citizens of the United States that does not also apply to members of Congress themselves. <laughs>